$713,000 series cash in the line. It's the Canadian Trotting Classic final next. Here they come. And they're off. Good beginning in the center. Sir Pinocchio fires out of there for Bartlett to take charge. Speed outside from my retirement dream. Even wider there goes amazing catch. Highland Kismet is in the next flight. Back there from in fourth. And he'll tip to the outside. Won't commit to the rail. Then further back. Security protected as they drive into that first turn. To the front went my retirement dream. But sweeping past him goes amazing catch. Sir Pinocchio is third outside. Highland Kismet fourth. First panel 27 flat to the back stretch. Here's Sir Pinocchio sweeping up to take the top. Off stride went Highland Kismet. Highland Kismet bubbled over on McClure going to 3-8. So wow, this one has changed. Sir Pinocchio leads the way. Back into second, amazing catch. My retirement dream is third. Security protected, fourth outside. Now with the cover into fifth goes private access. Sixth inside. There trots along, flying Kronos. Then to the outside from the backfield goes gruesome to some piquettes in heavy traffic, but tipped out now Halftime, 56 and 2. Sir Pinocchio leads to the far turn. Security protected at his wheel into second. Pocket sitting third is amazing catch. Private access a covered up fourth. Buried is my retirement dream into fifth now. Then gruesome twosome towards the rail is flying Kronos. Paquette to the outside. Three quarter bound. And it's Sir Pinocchio. Bartlett swings away and him to three quarters. Security protected. Long trip on the outside. Three quarters now. 124 into the stretch they come. And it's Sir Pinocchio. Looking for racetrack is amazing catch in the pocket spot. Can he find racetrack? He looks large. Scooting up off cover now. Security protected and also private access. Angling out his flying Kronos. Here comes Dunn up the inside again with amazing catch. Amazing catch. Amazing catch with a pylon skimming score in the Canadian Trotting Classic and he wins in 151-4. It's a stakes equaling performance, and yet again, it's another U.S.-based driver winning this event. Dexter Dunn using that inside path again, and obviously everything changed early, Randy, when Highland Kismet made that miscue, but to get where Dunn needed to be, he had to show the speed as he did. Yeah, no, he just uh, did put on another driving clinic out there, no doubt about it. Had the 10 hole, you know, uh, you know. I don't necessarily think that anybody really thought he'd blast the horse that way, and he did. It worked mm -hmm. out good for him, and again, right up the inside with him and the salute from Dexter crossing the wire. Um, that was a nice long shot you threw in at the end, and my long so shot, you. private access, he ended up finishing second, so I wish we would have played this um, that way because your horse is 19 to 1, and my horse is 21 to 1. Well, they let us nice play it after. after the race. Yeah, I guess so. I don't Hindsight, think so, eh? yeah, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I mean, things change. Anything you saw there? With Highland Kismet? Uh, no, not really. No. Like, I just, you know, you, to tell you the truth, Chad, when he come on the track, I, I, I'm not going to, you can look at it two ways. I was going to say, you know, he looks calm and cool. But to the same effect, though, maybe he looked a little too calm and cool. Okay. You know, maybe he just isn't with us tonight. Yeah, well. A lot of sickness around right now. Yeah, there is. Uh, there is. I'm sure he'll bounce back. And um, people will be saying, you know, well, that's not going to make him run. Well, it will. Because if they're sick, they lose their air. They can't really breathe. They get weak. Yep. And, you know, that's kind of what it looked like. He just rolled off stride. Dexter Dunn, Ocus Vonstead. They get their first Canadian Trotting Classic. It's with amazing catch on the outsides. Vonstead also had flying Kronos into the top three. Louis Wan between them with private access as a good night continues here for Blay and Determination. And security protected rounding out that top four. 10, 5, 3, and 2, 151, and 4. Three of them now share the stakes record with the amazing catch. Joining that... And we'll have John Rollis catching up yet again with Dunn. It's another big win, Johnny. Right here alongside winning driver Dexter Dunn as Amazing Catch captures the Canadian Trotting Classic. Dex, another 10 hole for this guy, but not a third place finish like in the Hamilton, and you were able to p skim up the pylons to get the job done. Now, what is it about this horse and outside draws? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, you know, had two, two 10 hole draws in uh, classic races and, and put in great, uh, two great efforts. You know, obviously, tonight was a bit different. Hamber, we just went back to last and, and rode the inside, but you know he had to work out there pretty hard, and we got a good helmet after that, and he really sprinted through. But you know he just felt fantastic tonight. Post parading is bringing his best he's felt all year. Was that even when you saw the draw come out? Was your game plan always to maybe show uh, use the early gate speed, or was that something you were going to determine off the gate, or how he felt out there in parade? Oh yeah, just determine off the gate. I mean, I knew I wanted to try and get handy with him and take a shot. If we got parked out, it was, it was you know that was it. But. Um, you know, he's a, he's a lovely horse. He's had a good year. He's racing some heavy hitters, so it's not easy uh, out there all the time. But, 
you know, he hasn't put too many bad efforts in. No, obviously the complexion of the race changes when Highland Kismet goes off straight. Did you know that took place? And what were you thinking when you were sitting in the two-hole afterwards? Yeah, it actually happened just outside me down the back there. Um, I mean, after that, obviously, Sir Pinocchio had a, a good elimination last week on the front end. And, uh, you know, I knew there'd be some pressure coming. His play, the pace slowed pretty quick. But, uh, you know, uh, we we're hoping for a lucky run. And once he got it, the horse did the rest. Congratulations, Dex. Thanks, Johnny. Canadian Trotting Classic champ of 2024. Here's 10 Amazing Catch, who overcame that outside obstacle win for the second time this year from nine attempts. Amazing 